say no. no. Uh, because I if it happens, it's just ten times sadder. I would also respect the hell out of just retiring on top. Yeah, exactly. That's, that was what I was alluding to. Was if Prof can hold a winning record against Triff now this year, it'd be a great way to just end off a, a wonderful career, really. Yeah. Unfortunately, the person I think who is going to be Prof uh, off the PR isn't even here. So um, you know, let's not bring him up. <laughs> but he's been he's been on top for a reason. This guy holds it down. Game plans are solid. Tech skill is incredible. Uh, the palm, pretty good. Oh yeah. Until it's game five. Until it's, yeah, of course. Everybody loses in game five. There's no uh, there's no such thing as presence of mind in game five. Yeah. Oh, what a call out with that up smash. What a call out from the crowd. The base just continuous clapping over the dreamline clapping. I yeah. love it. <laughs> dreamline clapping is the cringest thing you can do as an audience member. Wonderful adaption. Great awareness by the crowd. Yeah, great palm from <laughs> great the crowd. Presence by the crowd. Yeah. Ooh, really nice grab there by Triff on the platform, going up high enough to catch that uppy, and this should be it if he grabs ledge. Yep, that'll do it. It's, uh, you know your peach stuff. you got to do the weird double jump stuff to, like, land on the platform like that, right? Yeah. Whatever that means. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, peach main in the chat that just found out about it. Enjoy learning from us. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah you're welcome, be bats yeah. <laughs> They're in the chat explaining it now. Actually, he's talking about this. Man, these commentators talk about anything. Put in there. <laughs> do you know how many? Go do the math of how many matchups are in this game. You go learn them all. No, there's like five <laughs> viable characters. You can't pull the matchup card. I can. <laughs> I commentated Luigi, two different Luigis, three different times. Okay, you never know what you're getting on a stream. Triff getting the strong nair to send off. Gonna set up for this turnip. A nice shine stall by Prof to keep Triff guessing and, and wasting that turnip. And a low side B as well to grab that ledge. And now this is some classic Prof Dash dancing. But Triff's been around the block a couple times. He's getting past it. He's getting an oh. edge guard from it. Oh. Nice adjustment from Triff to go down with that down air, recognizing he's not the right level to get a narrow back air. Is that. B Bats, tell me in chat, is that, is that just the new ish? Is <laughs> no. No. Is this what's up? Is this. No uh, float dare? I love it. Can Prof clean up the stock though? No, Triff coming back with the dare. Yeah, 135% is the new, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's no, he is uh, dead. I was going to say it's like the new 70%. Right, right. When it comes to Dreamland, new at least. fangled DI. Yeah. These kids. But uh, it's also just this tree, you know? Something about his, his big pad. <laughs> it's just so huge. People be living here forever. But not Prof. He's done No, so. Prof's about to die here. Yeah, it's about 100%. And, whoa, nice catch from Triff going for that Nair low. <laughs> Prof tacking on some damage with those lasers, but Triff doing a good job of just staying out of Prof's range. Oh, 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 oh la la! Oh, la the la, down la. smash with the multiple hits and big damage, 37% off of one button. Prof's dash dance there was incredible, just completely moving around all of Triff's approaches. The Triff still finding the opening and the dot eyes going off stage. And the edge guard. That'll do it. Yeah, Triff gets that first game, so quite a statement to be made here about uh, Triff's preparedness, I guess. It's uh, game one, set one. Yep. There's a lot of prof that Triff needs to get for 100%. Yeah, he's only chipped away at the at the base layer. Exactly. He's prof only, it's like an onion. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yeah, very complicated man. <laughs> and he's not been playing much Soraka lately, so I'm feeling good about it. Clean mindset. Uh huh. Oh, air dodge, almost clever, but Triff just somehow ready for it. This up throw can connect into up air, but good air dodge from Triff to get out of there. The wiggle air dodge is a crucial part of Peach's arsenal to get out of some of those more, uh, you know, fake guaranteed combos, you can yeah. say. Yeah. After, uh, after missing it, Prof position himself, you know, he's going to try and shock Peach. He can be quite slow, but little weasel that is Triff got his way down this. Hit him a hell of times. Almost took a stop, but now Aaron. It's his chance. Nope. <laughs> nope, no. Oh, but does get that side B. That was uh, a perfect side B to ledge. Able to avoid Triff's edge guard, but that Nair will do it. Yeah. At 120, though, there's a good opportunity for Prof to even this back up right away. Although Triff has done a really good job of tacking on damage, filling that bucket between stocks, oh, as we see already every time. 33%. It's. It, every hit leads into more and more damage. Oh, that shield was getting kind of low. Triff, Triff's so scared, dude. They, yeah, they floated almost all the way off the stage and did two toads. They're like, oh, please, please stop. <laughs> they did not like the prof pressure. The prof is just dash dancing. Yeah. Just <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's grand finals, man. Get yourself together, Triff. <laughs> Actually, no, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, no. no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay insane. <laughs> Triff misreading that on the tech chase, not finding it. And Prof capitalizing, forcing Triff into the corner. 
Oh, just runs on in that big dash attack. Yeah, Proof's jumping. Yeah, Trip kind of flubbed there. Uh, got like a, a double jump cancel straight back to, to stage one. Very curious. Full hop battles go in the way of Peach. That's that's what Trip does. You know, up throw. Yeah, yeah, again, the wiggle out air dodge. Yeah, you need to be tasked to hit that up throw up there. Oh, I thought Trip was going to go for the uh, tech chase on the tech away. It looked like he was ready for it, but went for a shield stop instead. And uh, I guess it was just a factor of he had tried to read that earlier and messed up. So yeah. kind of like getting his own head. Prof doing a good job of mixing up the techs here. Keeping the game even overall. Hopefully getting back to stage. Not making me <laughs> totally eat my words here. 143% Prof has been living for quite a while. Almost saccharizing Drift too. Great, great mix up off of the platform. Sneaks that back here in and now, can he stop Drift from making it back? Can he keep him off the table, as my stepdad says when he watches melee? <laughs> That's a good saying, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He watched it for like five minutes when I had a stream on, and he was like, oh, you keep him off the table. And I was like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you got it, you got, got it. it. You figured it all Genius. out. Genius. <laughs> it's like such a eureka moment. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, nice, yeah. Good trade. I mean, you're talking is it about worth Triff liking that trade? Is it 51% though? Yeah, I don't think so because now Triff gets a, a ton more damage. These two forwarders are already tacking on a lot. And at 89, you're going to be struggling to be trading anything here without going off stage and setting up for a, a pretty decent edge guard. Triff, uh, so good at trading these stocks, they might want to look into getting some index funds, you know, <laughs> diversify their portfolio. Shut the FDS. <laughs> 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 they're, they're, they're fucking taking it, dude. Every time Prof hits him, Prof actually set up something that got hit by a random turnip. You uh, actually okay, could not get a free hit on Trip. It's impossible. How can you say Prof is setting something up and then call that a random turnip? I would say Trip is setting something up with that turnip. No, no, what I mean is like Prof stopped, he got a hit, got a shine, and then just got hit by a turnip. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, were, yeah. You will literally never get a free hit yeah. against Trip. It's just not, <laughs> it's not, ha he lands an aerial, got down smashed. It's just not happening. I mean, Trip is also just a master of setting up those landmines of, of uh, turnips as well. Mm -hmm. Like, you think, oh, it's just kind of a, like a whacked out turnip. What is he doing? But in the end, it really is just uh, like a bailout option in yeah. a lot of cases. You know, yeah. like, if I end up in a situation where I'm here, at least this turnip will help me out, you know? That up air was immaculate. And this is looking good for Prof. But uh, Triff too clever getting out from the tech chase situation. And now at 91%, this kind of rougher fox is going to have to pick his moments very wisely. Trying to inch forward with these jabs, but the jump. Getting pulled out by forward air. One turn in. Oh, Triff hesitating there, but does find his way back to stage and gets that nair, securing that second game. Prof needs to get on the board fast or yeah. end this set quickly and get on the board immediately next set. You know, like, just clean slate, get rid of this, don't think about it. Easier said than done, though. Yeah, I guess a player like Triff, you cannot guarantee you're going in that second set with a clean mindset. Also, I think to go away from that idea, at least actually trying is good practice for the second set, if you know what I mean. Rather than just conceding that you've lost this one, you might as well be like, right, let's just keep it going. I mean, you're balancing on a knife's edge of you know, trying and giving your opponent a hard time, making it, you know, difficult for them, but also not expending all your energy and all your mix-ups. Because as soon as you show every trick in your bag, uh, especially someone like Oh, Trip, that's what it is. Tr Prof's just trying to win at 30%. He's right, just going to turn right, it off yeah, in yeah. the next set. Yeah, of course, I get you. Of course. I get it's you. hustling. UK, it's UK. called hustling, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have split the pot, Trev. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you had your chance. Yeah. Prof finding the jab, but not able to connect anything out of it. Not connecting that back there either. That's going to be a huge opportunity for Triff to take this. But that's not oh, good. And that's not good at all either. For someone who's like lauded for their out of shield play, where was the up smash? Yeah, where was the up smash, Prof? Time to go back to the lab, I guess. Uh, there it is. Shine turn around. Wave I it's, it's something <laughs> he does on the stage for no reason sometimes whatsoever. You, sometimes you need those little things to make you feel yourself. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. To get in your groove a little bit, you know? To feel alive. To feel anything. <laughs> Triff still alive, by the way. Yeah, Triff making it very difficult for Prof to feel comfortable on this on this stage, but he does find it. That was a down tilt, I think, that killed. Yeah, right. That traded with a fair. I'm not gonna stop talking about it because I can't believe how good Triff is just making. Every hit has to trade. Yeah, it's the cost of hitting Triff. No you gotta free. pay the toll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there. Oh, Prof opening up huge here, and nice call out as well, wow. holding that ledge. And you know that one was actually free. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's go, Prof. You did the impossible. This fourth throw is still not going to kill. Looks like Triff is the one having issues killing now. Good to shine low, stole, but Oh, that was kind of dicey. Triff, I thought Triff was so far ahead of him there. If Triff had accidentally get, uh, got clipped under the stage, it could have been pretty bad. But I think he still had a few resources to make it back. It's still just always sort of like a uh, 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 moment. Yeah. You know, you feel it. Not getting the read on the tech chase, but the jab stuff in Prof's uh, attempt to like, counterattack. 
And now they're just playing that little whole stage game of when am I coming in, when am I coming in. And Prof is coming in right now. Doing a lot of damage, but the moment he got him off stage, that was just the little time that Trip needed. And did you see Prof sneak under that float as well? Just yeah. wave land under perfectly, finds that shine up smash. Prof up two stocks. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, the practice. It's kicking in. I'm telling you, Prof never loses a first to ten. Okay, okay. Right? I'm He's, starting to believe. He I, is the adapter. This, it, we'll see. This, this, this game isn't even over this yet. This will you know? half prove my theory, right? This is a... Uh, We've it's not a first two, game, so. but it's a it's a best of ten if it goes to the second set. So oh, big combo off the platform there, mm -hmm. and yeah. now no float from Trip either. He's gonna have to commit to the parasol, but this time Prof not comfortable going to the ledge. Gonna try and up smash, doesn't find it. Oh, this up throw, nice wiggle out, air dodge again. Yeah, the coverage there from Prof is really good, but now Trip getting his opening, getting a lot of damage. But again. Prof, there was one opening, one gap. He took it. Jab, up smash, Prof on the board. Prof didn't even do his characteristic side B off stage, he just ran off and died. He's a new man. <laughs> that's, how, that's how he's letting you know the mental's kick it in. <laughs> Whoever's in that cut, it's hit. Except I don't need that two star. I yeah. need that one star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to FD now, pretty much a classic at this going point. Going to second set. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's going to be pretty fun. No, I mean, Prof won this game, I think, uh, at Dreamhack, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. So, or won a game on, on FD. I think this is a very different trip from Dreamhack. This yeah, is the no. tr this is actually the trip we used to. Do. Definitely more motivated and more practiced, more uh -huh. seasoned. Loves this good food. Oh, oh, what an angle from Prof! You gotta have those at this level. Dipping super low, keeping Trip guessing, but this time Ooh. also going for the uppy edge guard. But Prof is ready for it. Unfortunately, going for an air dodge afterwards, been misguided. But I think the air dodge was right. He was just too slow on it. Mm. Like I, I, he just didn't pull the trigger in time. And uh, cost him the whole ass stock. Trip only. Th I was about to say his percent, but Prof added a little couple extra numbers to that. And still challenging him the up air. That's gonna take it. Ooh, nice. Prof staying in this. Only 18%, but still with the invincibility, super scary. He's coming in, and that's gonna rack up a ton of damage. Ooh. Trip again missing the tech chase. He's been a little bit weak on these tech chases. Yeah, he just needs the grab. Yeah, right. honestly, at this right. point, at, at, at 44, I think it's a good time to start chain grabbing. Uh, it's always a good time to start chain grabbing. Ooh. The, uh, I want to see more jabs from Prof in general, actually. Just kind of chub check Trip a little bit, you know? Yeah. Make sure he's, he's coming correct. Because you do get a lot off of it as Fox. Yeah, like, you get the grab, you can get an up smash. If it doesn't hit, it's so quick, you just run away. Yeah, even uh, jab bear, jab nair, things like that. Exactly. Oh, and opting for side B. Obviously, don't spam it. Just sneak a couple on in there. Yeah, you need it like once alcohol in into the venue. So first, Prof shine the turnip. Then he power shows the turnip. Like he's having none of this turnip game. He's just thinking like, no, I don't want this. <laughs> no. Why are you throwing your junk at me? <laughs> it's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> get, get away from me. I'm gonna beat him though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, a lot of damage from that down smash again. Trip. Every single stock now has just been tacking on damage with down smash initially, and then. Slowly poking away, and the charge oh, S-Mash, he did that no. earlier as well. It's definitely a sign that Trip's feeling himself when he feels like he can get those charge S-Mashes. Either that or it's a flub and it just works out beautifully. <laughs> yeah. And the rinse oh. repeat with this down air. Yeah, this is hard to get through. And nice patience from Trift to deal with that. 48%. Oh, sorry, the laser's hit. And now he's at death percent. But there was no jump. Prof was looking for it. Found nothing. And nothing but damage. Triff racking it up. There was a tech in place for Prof. Not caught, but the second options were. Oh, and double jump canceling a bit too early. Not able to reach with that Nair. Yeah, it just sometimes doesn't go your way, does it? Yeah. You win some, you lose some, you know? Yeah. Like, oh. like these. Oh, going so low. Oh, what a drift from Triff. Yeah, that up smash not hitting. A little, little hopeful, honestly. But this up throw up uh, is also <laughs> not going to happen. Damn it. Kept you guessing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and Triff! Yeah, that backer's still looking to kill as well. This one, though. This time he's trying to call out the drift again, but Triff's staying tricky and using the uh, oh, fastball, yeah. but nice shine. Yeah. Prof actually just not getting hit there. Like, he actually won all of those little moments. Uh, he's won 86% for a good while there, but now that he's been sent off stage... What an oh. angle, dodging the down smash. A new breath of life in Prof, perhaps. Professor's angle. He's been studying that one. A lot of damage racking up. Trip is getting closer and closer to kill percent and isn't able to find any hits in neutral. Prof is playing this beautifully. Yeah, stray nair put on 9%. Like, it's it's not looking good. It's almost over 60. Oh, 84. Let's see what he can do yeah, here. Yeah, up air is going to be 
pretty terrifying for Triff now, and up smash too. Like, oh, up throw, so up many up good there options. It is. Yeah, he gets Prof it. Takes it to game again. five. I'm telling you, the longer sets go on, the better Prof is. This guy would win every first to ten ever. Yeah, this is insane. This adaption, and it makes you wonder: Is Triff gonna go back to FD here? It was such a commanding uh -huh. lead for so long, but that last stock looked. Just clinical. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Profit just really getting comfortable with the, tri the timings that Triff has. Yeah. When and like you said, uh, this is definitely something to uh, wear Triff down for that second oh. set if Prof is looking for that, you know. Well, hopefully he doesn't find more of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever he's looking for. <laughs> yeah, the, the bullying as well is going to take a little bit more effect. Prof Professor Pro just uh, picking his uh, timings a little bit more patiently than before. Oh, and Triff's not going to miss this edge guard, I don't think. Really oh, no. tricky angle from Prof going straight up rather than riding the wall. He's been riding the wall every time so far, I think. The theme song's coming out, well. The theme song's the theme coming song out. The theme song is out here. Which means Prof is about to sh <laughs> choke. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him do anything sick to the theme song. This game is looking mad tight. The percents within points of each other, but the stocks are not. Prof with the up air taking the lead. Yeah, I do he think needs to attack on more and more damage here. Fill this bucket while he can, because mm -hmm. as soon as Triff gets the stock, it's going to be a matter of Triff finding that grab on the yeah. next stock to Just get. Just make a it harder for Triff to trade, right? Yeah. This forward throw is going to send Prof at a decent angle though, and finds Ooh. that forward air. That's nice. I think it might cover like coming in at a straight angle, yeah. also low. So it covers a lot there, nicely done. The thing with this stage is like, as amazing as the train grabs are, the neutral is pretty good for Fox, right? And Triff has not been li landing these grabs, so they're relying kind of solely on edge guards. While well, Prof is kind of getting the work in right now. He's been so tricky with his movement and just finding all of these up airs. Yeah. All the stray hits are getting up airs. Triff needs to start smashing these up airs because even yeah. though Prof is keeping the timing tricky, it is his last bailout option for surviving yeah. at those higher percents. He does not need that first of 10. <laughs> no, yeah. Or even the best of 10 right now. One set is all he needs from this winner's finals. Up a Here's stock a unless Triff can even it out right now. And Triff opting for a run through down smash instead of continuing the train grab, but it looks like to be, it looks like it worked out pretty nicely. Profit 83 now. Can Triff find the strong hit that'll send off for a nice edge guard? No, even while he's looking for it, Prof just tacking in those couple percentage points for when he comes back. Oh, and the tech as well from Triff, a little swag coming back. But now. Daddy's home, off the angel platform, and he had a bad day at work. Oh. <laughs> Look at all this damage. The pressure, it's really, Peach is so slow, but Triff's so good at landing, mixing up the drift patterns just all the time. Also, like, throwing in fast falls very well, sometimes just not doing it. Like, this guy's such a beast. But Triff staying tricky at the ledge, coming with that narrow prop, ready for oh. it, finds the grab, up throw up there, and now Triff is on his tournament stock. He has to make something work yeah. here. Just with how the first two games went, would you have expected this is how the set is ending? Absolutely the, not. The crowd is going nuts, cheering for one more stock. Triff trying to shut them the hell up. Grab it off. Through the side beat, gets the chain grab going. First one we've seen so far, yeah. the crowd is Aing. Yeah, instead of shutting them up, he's actually made them even louder. They're yeah. loving Aing right now. 100%, 108. When does the dash attack come in? Oh, he doesn't oh, the do nair, it. He the air comes out, yeah. It's turned straight down, Prof up being a little bit further out of that range, not going to find it. Ooh, 51, 57. It, these points are actually so crucial. Peach dies pretty early. Oh, that's it. Now the kill options are like super online. Oh, but that's a good trade for Trip. Well, he do, he does him. have that stock to lose. He's got the invincibility and he's got some, you know, he's got the low percent game, but Trip, if he just finds any stray hit, we've seen it so many times. He converts oh, the hell out of it. Doesn't find the tech chase. Trip is floundering here a little bit, but. He is holding it together. Trip a great. He's great at clutching. So properly needs to watch out. That uh -huh. border sends off. Can oh. he get this? Oh, oh nice! Right he shields Trip, it. Trips was so ready for that, and now we know he's got the chain grabs. Oh, it back. He does it. Out. Maybe a mix-up on the DI, but Prof was ready for it. I think it might have just been a straight flub. The percent was definitely way oh, too early. Oh, border but sends off. That turn's not going to connect either. Trip goes out there. Prof with a high angle. Wow. Shielding the dash attack. Yeah, but this right into Trip's the... arms. Forward air, no, Prof is living to such high percent. Oh, oh he, he dies! Falls. And there That's it the is. That's the reset. Trip gets the reset. Wow. What a clutch win Yo. for Trip. Prof made him work for that, though. Yeah. That was a McDonald's McDonald's night shift. Let's go, <laughs> Trip. Work. Jumping around, getting that energy out. Sometimes you yeah. need that, that yeah. release, you know, because it can get you can get super pent up in those uh, tense situations, and you need to be completely calm going into that second set because yeah. you're back to neutral, you're back to reset. Prof is also probably a little bit shaken up, but it's that kind of determined shaken up. Like, yeah. you need to yeah, come yeah, back yeah. with that fire, you know? I had that set to give. <laughs> 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 Just so he feels less bad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Triff is going to go take a quick break while Prof mulls over that last game. Obviously a bit of a, a heartbreaker, but of course, it is great melee to watch. I think considering how those first two games went, I don't even know if I'd call it a heartbreaker. That was, that was just a huge turnaround from Le Professeur. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was loving what I was seeing. Um, <laughs> but we are going to have to go back to the start of it. Yep. Right. Where it all began. Yeah, and now there's some time between the sets. Prof might not be as dialed in as he just was then. The adrenaline. Can take a deep yeah, exactly. Dude, I'm down. in my PJs, you know, I'm ready to chill. <laughs> <laughs> but Prof, he's, he needs to be out here. He's got to keep that killer instinct in, and right now he is messing up that CPU. Oh, yeah, he's, that CPU's getting the hands. <laughs> Trust <Six percent>. us. <laughs> this, well, if only you could see this stream. This, this CPU is getting so schmixed. So your theory, your running theory of this first to ten stuff. Oh yeah. Does it all fall apart if Prof loses game one here? No. No? Think of it as big set. Big set? Yeah, just think of it as one big grand final set. Sure, but at, at this point, like, he's got the momentum going, he's gotten a chance to adapt to his opponent. Do you not think that going into game one he has a Even way better chance of, of In a first to ten, one? he could lose four, win one, lose one, then win Okay. more again, right? Fair enough. That's fair how enough. I'm thinking about it. And Triff has returned. We'll be getting into the game uh, pretty soon. I imagine they're going to start on Battlefield again. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty standard pick for this. I don't know. They started on Dreamland, actually. You want to put a Euro on Battlefield, though? No, they started on Dreamland. You want to put a Euro on Battlefield? I'll, I'll put a Euro on Dreamland. Sure, why not? I'll put a Euro on Battlefield. <laughs> Let's go. Let's All right, some side bets going on. Place your bets in chat as well. Place your. I guess you can place bits on the... Uh, oh, it's Battlefield. I guess I owe you a Euro. <laughs> <laughs> that's the easiest Euro of my life, baby. <laughs> Shame the crepes are free. Oh, true, true. <laughs> you get two. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know how I feel anymore. It was feeling so good towards the end of that last set, but now <laughs> Triff is just back in the driver's oh. seat. Oh, no, no. Yeah, a huge combo from Triff. That back air, reverse back air in there. And not going to get the edge guard. They get up attack. We'll tack on more damage, but now Prof gets a chance to oh, no. uh, put on how, some damage of his own. How dare you give the goat a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're out of the driver's seat. Aaron knows the fun, the, the crazy roots. Nah, he, he don't, doesn't he? Oh, I'm too, I'm too personally invested in this. You know how like doctors shouldn't know their patients. Like I, as a commentator, <laughs> I just, I love Prof too much. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, it's, uh, it's hard to separate the the player from the uh, from the region, right? No, it's the Stockholm syndrome. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he's beaten us just so much. We have, we've just tricked ourselves into loving him. Trip finds that grab, staying patient on the platform while Prof got a little antsy with that approaching there. Oh. Again, baiting Prof in. Prof has a really hard time reading where Trip's gonna be on these platforms. Not with that up there though. And that's what we like to see. Great dash dance there as well. Just Trip not committing quite hard enough and Prof is heading him out of it, but it didn't really lead to anything. And now, yeah, this the game of chicken that is edge guarding Peach. It's one of the more annoying mini games that is edge guarding in melee. Sure, <laughs> the, yeah. The peach edge guarding mini game. Prof cleans that up with a nice up smash. But now Triff with 102 on Prof. Can they find a yeah, that's opportunity to edge guard? Because like one strong hit, or like we said, a trade. We've Stray. inherited this a lot. You know, finding a trade here will be crucial. Triff is also, as we discussed, just the stray hit go. Yeah. And stray hits at 130 really hard. Oh, oh, the pan. Oh, going for the up B, I like the idea because Prof is going up high and even manages to clip still. Your Triff read it. When he first oh, yeah. up beat, he knew that little one hit was coming in. He's like, he's going to the right platform. I know yeah, this. Yeah. I know this. Let's do 1%. <laughs> oh, power shield grab. That would have been insane, but turned the wrong way. Still manages to close out the stock, though. Prof yeah, needs to find something here. It's a, yeah, it's a lead that Triff has not let go since he has had it. But down smashes on the platform like that might be Prof's way back into it, giving us a free... Okay, excuse me. I guess yeah, um, Triff actually... Uh, Prof does get hit by those. He is human. We can do it too. <laughs> My fellow UK <laughs> viewers, we we need to, we just need a mindset change. <laughs> Up there? No, uh, not quite. Triff trading out of it in there. Now Forder is going to force Prof into the corner, and Triff just floating there, I guess, waiting for Prof to act out of it. But Prof... Pretty good at dealing with people falling through platforms or hanging around just around platforms. The prop special is uh, up smashing someone, uh, shield dropping through the platform. Yeah. So, I used to watch Sechi Triff, right? And I'm just remembering, every time I saw Triff on the ledge against Sechi, I just assumed he was about to die. Right, yeah. And it's a little bit harder with Fox, I think. There's not as many self-explanatory yeah. options to, to do that. But even then, like, her options in general from the ledge aren't good. Sure. 
They've also gotten and a lot better since since Sachi's uh, era, right? Yeah. Peaches yeah. have been labbing a lot of new ways to sort of like pop up on the ledge, and at first they think it's uh, it's really difficult, okay. it's really hard. But so now they aren't great. Now it's uh, okay. Now yeah, it's yeah, tolerable. Yeah, exactly. But the fact that like Treff is just fine from the ledge. Yeah. Right. It's there's never really been a moment where like. Oh no, Triff's at the ledge, and Prof's done this, and then it's led to like a sneaky edge guard. It's like, no, Triff just kind of plays this game from the ledge. It's 100%. Really impressive. And despite saying that there's all this new lab stuff, Triff has been doing some pretty, uh, I'd say, bog standard stuff towards yeah. the ledge. Like, only once in a while pulling out those really tricky things to, to find a nice mix up, but mm -hmm. yeah, just Prof has been really struggling to call out Triff at the ledge here. I'm still in awe of the cheeky little parasol thing they did to yeah. Frenzy. I've never seen that. Because, <laughs> yeah, any other Peach just gets. The, the annoying R press into the camera. Yeah. You know? This guy's got a little trick for everything. Finding that strong backer, gonna attack on more damage with those lasers. But Triff air dodging to stage, good recognition, noticing he can get there without much punish from Prof. Yeah. Is a, is a stock lead the whole game even worth much if it still goes to last stock? Uh, if Prof is at 86, then Yeah, yes. the problem is Ooh, I said Saturn. If. I did say if. if <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> I really wanted to see Mr. Saturn do something. I love my homie Mr. Saturn, but unfortunately, Sent to the Shadow Realm as yeah. Prof gets this stock. I mean, while Prof is at 86, could just cheese Triff. It so it's very possible, rarely happens, yeah. but you never know. The floaty SD is, is rare, but when it happens, it's just that much more exciting. It's hype. It's, it's, it's pretty hype. I dare say it's hype. Only because it's so rare. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's, that's oh, no job. Oh, what a snipe. Ooh. That was a long time coming. That's so like, yo boys, watch this. You like bounce the basketball and it goes <laughs> in the hoop. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting in anticipation. So, uh, kind of looking like set one. At yeah, the a little bit, but maybe Prof can pull up uh, and get that game three. Oh, oh no! Bad start. I a great start if you're Triff. That's a really lucky turn to pull for the beginning. No, of the bad game, start. You, know? you were right. No. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say like, yeah, maybe this set two Prof, like the stadium is just gonna look very different. But then the first thing that happens is, st I mean, that affects me as a viewer. I don't know. I actually don't know how taxed Prof would be like that. I, I, I think he's been playing so long and probably hit by something like that so many times. He has to be like, yeah. I think as long as you're not getting killed by like three stitch hits, it's yeah. really not too bad. You kind of shake it off as like, oh, I, I ate a down smash. Same thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I got some damage. I can deal with it. I can, I can even it back up. No big deal. And as you see here, that soft Just takes the lead. Gives yeah. him the slip. And Prof greasing it up a little bit on this game because uh, that's kind of what he needed to do game two last set, but he couldn't get it done. But game three it seemed to breathe new life into him. You know, it's the it's the classic, uh, you know, second set. You're more warmed up. Um, or you're not. <laughs> you're not. I guess. Or you're not. You're not. You know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, there was gonna be a nice lead to play with. The last trip, this monster, just uh, no. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I want to yeah. see. Run him down. So my prof's still doing a good job of tacking on lasers in that stock as well. As soon as it was even, because Peach doesn't really have a good answer for putting on damage quickly. I mean, turnips are great, but they're kind of predictable. Their arcs yeah. are kind of predictable. You're mostly using them as like a, a combo tool or as, as, a, as like a zoning tool, uh -huh. not so much as like a I need damage at a distance. Whereas Fox's lasers just tack on damage like nobody's business. You just have to hope they badly di down smash. Yeah, that's like your only way of really just putting on some DPS. But that being said, Prof at 100 and Triff at 70. It begs the question, will Prof be able to get an up throw upper before Triff gets a nice edge guard situation and this no. has presented itself? He just barely missed that now. Triff was so ready for it, down tilt oh. came out, but... Uncharacteristic of Triff to miss the, an edge guard like that, but it seemed like he had a... It looked to me like he was going to go for ledge, but instead opted for that and... Uh, it didn't matter. There, yeah, yeah. I mean, it didn't matter, but still. That is, no, that's just a regular one, right? Yeah, that's just a regular smile internal. It's I heard the noise and then I had a whole like twenty minute internal dialogue that happened in one second of like, do the turnips make different noises? Because I don't <laughs> remember hearing turn noises. And then, but that's when you can purposefully spread misinformation. That's when you can say, oh yeah. I've done enough, enough of that on stream today. <laughs> I did a pretty good job earlier. It's I gotta take top four seriously. Yeah, I gotta take my boy seriously he while he's out here catching it up against Triff. Triff not managing to connect there, thinking that Prof is going to make it to the platform, but Prof, one step ahead. Always one step ahead, rolling out of the corner, bought himself so much time, alas, Triff running into his face. This punish game is so amazing, but he shines back the turn, but Triff's oh. just ready for the counter, counter, counter hits. Reversal on reversal on reversal. Yeah. Good power shield from Triff, but back at the ledge now, but okay, back to center. Okay, those okay, those okay. were some funny whiffs. That, that yeah. was pool around, <laughs> pools around one whiffs right there. <laughs> You're gonna be here. <laughs> Oops. <Nope. laughs> no. Just the single little lasers. 
Oh no, oh, missing his wave dash. How can you? It's the second set of grand finals. You're missing your wave dash at 161%. It's all a part of the hustle. It's yeah. all a part of the hustle. Yeah, somehow not costing across the stock at all. And in fact, dude, sorry, man. Uh, sorry. <laughs> in fact, it's been doing pretty good since then, though. Yeah. Did manage to tackle quite a bit of damage before he, uh, he went the way of the dodo. Good on Triff again, getting that solid edge guard, going down to meet Prof under the ledge to find that nair. Prof's gonna find an up air here, it's gonna even it right back up, and now we're last stock situation. Prof really needs this game because we saw going down 2 0, it's doable, yeah. but it's not ideal. We really need that wiggle room. You can almost say that like Dreamhack was just Triff Rust. Yeah, this 100 is, shaking this it off, is you know? such a different Triff. Definitely. I mean, we had only really seen Triff secondaries up to that point in, in recent history, and I guess the summit spot sort of awakened something in him, and then losing that summit spot awakened a, a completely new beast, right? Yeah. For a second there, Prof actually woke up. He was moving like oh, mad. Oh. And he found it as well, coming back. Oh, but clanking with the turnip, not connecting. Oh, completely safe from that grab. Oh, Prof up. wanted that up air so bad, he went deep for it. Yeah. He, he finds the grab. It. This could be it. He finds Another the up one. Nice, oh. smash the eye. Or so misspaced even from Prof, I'm not sure. Now let's give Prof, uh, Triff the benefit of the doubt. That, was, cl that was clutch. That was super clutch. Yeah, he needed that. Prof has found like three grabs in four seconds. Like... Uh, Kind of oh. uh, saying he's doing it to Triff, but can he stop him from getting back? Triff's so good at getting back, but Strong from the ledge, in. yeah, it's where she's weak. He heard me. He heard, he oh, heard me. Oh, he heard him, yeah. Prof on the board, it's a different. I told you this game 10 theory, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Who's keeping count? Who's keeping count? Yeah. Are you counting friendlies? Uh. <laughs> 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 Thankfully, we are lovely stream runners. Wonderful Phoenix match team. Actually keeping the scores correct. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. It's, it's nice that they care at majors. Going into FD, <laughs> and we're going to see what uh, what they can pull out. Because uh, Prof, yeah, put up a good uh, a good fight on FD last set and at DreamHack. So hopefully now we can see uh, yeah. that same sort of Prof coming out. Just Triff was not landing the chain grabs. Yeah, and now we're going to see him. Now they are. <laughs> oh, no. A's coming out. No, Prof going off stage. Good option. It's kind of, un uh, I was going to say unfair. It's kind of... <laughs> Uh, you know, it makes you uneasy to get the the edge, the, the chain grab so close to the edge because the other person can, uh, can bait you pretty hard. Either feigning going off stage and then going into stage, and then you have to react and sort yeah. of like go back, or just straight going off stage and then you have nothing left at low percent. Oh, oh, the jump has been spent. He's got his float. Oh, oh again! Oh. He snipes the ledge. Wow! Not only does it once, does it twice. Can you do it thrice? Uh, can he do it thrice? I believe the saying is, fool me one, shame on you, fool me twice, uh, you're not going to fool me again, but Triff got fooled. So now I watch this drive, point. baby! <laughs> Prof is playing so good now. This, the second set, the adaptations, the D... Uh, oh, and what a shorten that is to trick Triff, but still managing to find the stock. Triff head dodging away from those lasers, not even taking 2%. But from the Angel platform, Prof did so much of it. Triff already is 72%, pretty much death percent if he gets something wrong, but... Ooh, chain grab coming out, wow. and now you're in center, there's nowhere to go. Yeah, you just gotta eat fat damage right now, o already at 90%. Oh, and a forward throw, I guess setting up for the edge guard or a flub, because typically Triff will go for like 120 ish yeah. and go for a nair, but... Yeah, that forward, forward, air, uh, forward throw, very uncharacteristic. Another one... Has she got hands in her ass? <laughs> there's two of them! <laughs> what the hell? Nice. nice! Call out from Prof. Yeah, coming down with that back air is not that safe. Expecting Prof to jump up and meet with an up air. Maybe that was just some good palm. Yeah, yeah I just feel like, oh, I just, I just hit that button right here right now and I take the stock. But uh, Triff does trade it out just as quickly as he lost it. But on his last stock on the counter pick. Even oh, actually, standing laser. So, like, <laughs> last time it was looking like Prof was doing really good on FD because he wasn't getting chain grab. This game he's getting chain grab a hella and still winning. Yeah, but that is that looked very scary. Uh, Prof was in a pretty bad situation there, and Triff still holding it together, dodging a lot of those lasers, managing to keep the damage low for now. But Prof still gonna just shoot back, uh, yeah. hang back, and shoot those lasers. That's the game. Oh my up god! Smash. No up smash coming out. Taking so much damage. And the problem is when you're getting so laser heavy, Triff knows he can be more comfortable to actually just hard commit. Yeah. Because he knows when he sees the short hop, there's not an aerial there. There's no pressure really. Yeah. Peach, one of those characters that's very vulnerable, you know, when pulling up turnips and things like that. So, in effect, knowing those windows is part of the character. Oh, too. he's like, just gonna go oh, out he's there, going and there's him, and Prince that's Dreamland. It. No way, Prof played so well, but just from the, just 
from, uh, I, from nowhere. What an insane <laughs> edge guard by Triff. The recognition to go out there and just call him out mm -hmm. on the recovery. Yeah. It desperately needed that for so, sure. Sometimes now, you just lick your fingers and put out the candle. Yeah. Just bite the bullet, man. Just yeah. bite the bullet. He was not, he did not appreciate the drive. No. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Like, that drive was mid, bro. <laughs> Going to Yoshi's now, gonna be seeing these earlier kills. Even though we saw some very early kills on uh -huh. FD, but just sniping the ledge, these will be more move-based kills. Yeah. <laughs> At least this time, uh, there's not another FD. Right, exactly. <laughs> Prof can uh, rest easy knowing that FD's out of the way. At least that next counter pick will be, uh, not Dreamland for the last game, but, oh no, will be Dreamland. It's not yeah. on Battlefield this time, but Dreamland, not Don't the Don't forget worst. the Euro. True, true, true. <laughs> What's the and conversion rate? Ooh. Ooh! Happy Meals loved that. <laughs> <laughs> but just as just as quickly as it comes, it can get taken away. Drift applying that pressure. Just not letting Prof go. The turnip's going to get thrown. Going to hit Prof. Dipping Ooh, low dipping and covering low. it. Pro, uh, Triff is so good at going low for that. You know, it's a, it's a scary situation to be in, to have to commit so hard to an edge guard, but Triff so confident in it. Oh, no. Jump. No. Oh, this is huge. Randall coming out. The boy. Oh. oh. What an edge guard. It's still going. How is Prof still alive? The back air as well. Triff going yeah. deep again and getting that trade. That's pretty much what you want, because if you trade with the Fire Fox, you can get back up the stage way quicker. Yeah. You don't have to worry about dealing with an Invincible Fox when you're on the ledge. And now... Prof in a really rough spot. Triff, not only the lead in the set count, but also now in this game. And position, send it to Prof off stage, but just about getting back. The thing is, I actually think the lasers were such a huge part of Prof's success previously, and now on Yoshi's, they're just not a factor. Yeah. There's not that much space to, to shoot lasers anyway. Like you said, Triff yeah. really good at recognizing when you can come in and, uh, and deal with them. So if you just you know shoot lasers, Triff is going to take full advantage of that, and Prof is on his tournament stock. He He's wins these. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not counting him out just yet. But, that was uh, the shortest one more story. They realized how yeah. <laughs> how many of us there are here. <laughs> just hold the ledge. Ah, uh, yeah, it, it's impossible. Nice so. recovery. Oh, attacking on Randall. That could have been real bad, but that backer will kill, and now Prof has to make something beautiful happen here to uh, be able to stand a chance in this last. But stock. the tech's getting red. So much damage from these up airs. Ness gonna send Prof off stage. Down smash tagged. Oh, forward not quite connecting, but right into his loving arms. He Four covers throw. those back air. Back air. That's That'll game. Do it. Triff he wins. It. And Triff signaling to the crowd, he's back, baby. Yeah. He doesn't go down without a fight. And Triff regaining the crown of European melee. Wow. Double eliminating his demon of Dreamhack and taking HF Land 2022 gold. Proving it was just the rust. He shook it all off. Yeah. Huge ovation from the crowd. Yeah. It's, uh, God, I've missed those. Oh.